Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, it is Lake Kate here, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Market Realm, which is what happened in the last update. We're going to be talking about everything you need to know and showcasing some things, and also talking about is it worth going to the auction place at the moment, and also some future things that will be added to the Market Realm because it is currently in a work in progress, so there are some things that are not added yet that I will be getting into in today's video. With that said though, make sure to like and subscribe, and with that said, let's go ahead and just get right into it. So in order to actually unlock the market realm, you actually have to have the buy horse journal unlocked. Um, there is actually something that I found out when I was playing with my boyfriend yesterday when the update did happen. I don't know if they fixed it or not, but when you teleport to this, if the other player does not have the buy horse mission, they can still teleport to you into the market realm. So if you don't have that journal done, um, I don't know if it's patched yet or not, but you could basically just join someone who has it, who can actually teleport to it. You're just have to rejoin the game because you won't be able to teleport back into this world right here but anyway like i was saying you have to have the buy horse journal done in order to go and teleport into this and it does explain that to you in the game when i think when it updates or something like that but you could go ahead and hit teleport which is this big thing in the lobby that you saw and it's gonna teleport you to a market realm and we'll wait until it's actually okay so when you get into the game you can actually only equip one horse it will not let you upgrade it or anything like that because this is the auction realm or the market realm i keep saying auction realm it's actually market realm <laughs> But you can only equip one horse, kind of like it is with Dragon Adventures. Um, it does remind me a lot of Dragon Adventures. It's a little weird that people can sit on top of it because it makes it look really weird. But so far, this is what it looks like. Um, you just spawn in. It's kind of a tiny-ish map because it's basically just for marketing. So you can go over here, which is the only thing you can actually do in the Market Realm at the moment, which is actually auction your horses or actually buy horses that are being auctioned. Now to do this, you'll be able to see at the top right here, um, the horse that they were auctioning. If you are auction, auction ugh, I can't talk. So you can see here that it's a horse that's being auctioned off from somebody. We can see the species, we can see the gender, the value of this horse, but we can also see what the current starting bid is, the next bid, or uh, the next bid, um, and then also the auto buy, which you can buy it already. You can also inspect it here, so you can see the information, you can see the traits, you can see the mutations, if they have any. So it's pretty cool to see all the information about it. You can also see the upcoming auctions on the side, which has all of these people here you can also inspect them as well so if you don't want to wait and you want to see what this horse looks like you can go to the person and literally just inspect their horse and boom that's what you can do now say you do want to buy the horse that you see you'll hit the view auction now here you can see the current bid is a thousand and seven hundred and fifty i'm not bidding on this one because it's just the horse with wings i'm not really too big on the wings of the horses oh okay apparently the horse was already sold so i'm guessing someone auto bought it but you can see here the current bid and then you can i guess um what you'll do is you'll type here i was trying to click here you'll type here the amount that you want to bid so say you wanted to bid like uh 1500 and then you'd hit bid and when you bid it would go up on there and they'll say the next bid of which you can buy the horse it also shows the timer right here and then if you wanted to put your horse for auction you would hit create auction now you cannot for some reason okay i think okay so you cannot actually auction off horses that you favored is what i'm getting from these being darkened because all of these horses are favorited i don't know if necessarily let's like actually test this out um let me find quest i'm not actually going to auction quest but i want to see if one's like so if you have a horse that was recently from the alpha or beta stage you can actually auction them as well if you really wanted to i would not suggest doing that at the moment wait till they get more value but you can create an auction so for instance if i want to because i don't really want this guy anymore i only needed him for like the breeding reasons so here you can hit the starting bid so you enter any amount that you feel is the right value for your horse to be sold personally don't put it too high because no one's gonna buy it and don't put it too low because then people are gonna scam you from it so what i'm gonna put for this guy is actually a thousand and two fifty because i mean that seems like a good amount you also have a tax we can add auto buy you can also cancel auto buy if you really wanted to i'm gonna put this at six thousand so it's kind of hard for someone to auto buy it that was that's what i normally would do if you want to add that if not you could just hit the x and then boom you don't have to have auto buy on your auction then you can hit auction and once you do you will have whatever place you are in the auction queue and you can also scroll down to wherever you are and it will actually show a green 
part, which is you showing yourself. So it will kind of show you. And I am very far down, so it's going to take a very long time. So while I wait for my auction to be ready, um, you can see there are two sides over here in the uh, the market realm. I keep trying to say trade realm because that's what I think it would be. Also, you can see the um, auction on the other side too. If you really don't want to be around all those people, you can just look up here, which, ooh, this one's pink. That is pretty cool, but it's way too high for me. No, thank you. You also have um, these horses that you'll see in the stables in the main part that you can see here as well that you can buy. I love that unicorn's horn. Oh my lord, I wish I had that. So the first one we're going to go over is stalls, which is coming soon, which I'm going to guess may be in the next update or the update after that because they have been working a lot on the market realm. So this is where you'll find a lot of the male horses that people will actually put up um, that you can breed with your females at a cost. But this is probably going to be where the males are going to be that people will actually put up. So you can put up males here that other people can breed their females with at a cost, which will make it so you can actually earn money, which is pretty cool. I like this little place. It looks cute. I'm hoping maybe uh, those little bricks are where the males are going to be. That would be a little odd. I'm kind of hoping to see the setup soon because I want to see how they're going to kind of set this up. The next one, which is right across from it, is the market stands. This is where the market stands are going to be. You'll actually be able to sell your either inventory resources or horses. You'll be able to sell basically anything you have in your stables or inventory here. So you'll be able to look through all of that, which I'm guessing these little dark spots is where they're going to be. And then you can kind of just walk across this little lighter place. Now, things may change in the future. So there might be things that are different than what I'm telling you now, or it might be incorrect. So don't take my word for 100%, but I'm basically telling you the basic concept of what's going to be here. So that is basically what you'll see when this does happen. You'll see a lot of people selling their resources, a lot of people selling horses. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are just going to sell horses over here and not a lot of resources. There are also rules here, so please make sure to look at these before you go doing anything because you might be breaking a rule and you don't know it. There's only three, so you know, that's not like a big deal. Also, if you don't know what cross trading is, this is actually going to explain it below the third rule. So there's that many rules, but make sure to look at that, please, because don't get in trouble because you don't know the rules. Look, it's the first purple horse I've actually seen in the game. That's interesting. I didn't think purple was an actual color that you could get, but that is so cool looking. I like that. Whoever's horse that is, I like your horse. It looks beautiful. Also, one last thing before I do in the video, if you want to go behind this little thing here, you'll see a beautiful little background and there's also what looks to be a cave that you can actually go into um, so you can kind of explore the map which it's not that big but is pretty decent sized so you can just kind of explore if you really wanted to it's absolutely gorgeous i love the kind of theme that they're going for with this market realm but that is basically it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy comment down below what you guys think about this update what you guys are excited about in the future and all that stuff so uh see you guys in the next one bye That is pretty cool, but it's way too high for me. No thank you.